but yeah, this this should be interesting. Whopper, rank three EU against Fairy Peak at rank two EU. Although Fairy Peak's rank doesn't really matter. He's probably still the best 1v1 player on the planet on most days. Scrub Killer does seem to beat him in grand finals of big 1v1 tournaments. Uh, but besides that, Fairy Peak looks like the best 1v1 best of five and above series player. A Gallo 10, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, everybody else, welcome to the stream. Welcome if you're watching on VOD or on YouTube as well. This is Fairy Peak versus Whopper. Fairy Peak's return after the Manfield Night 5k to live stream show matches. He's up against a tough player. A player who's been doing really well on the right leaderboard recently. Actually peaking. Let's see how he could do against perhaps the greatest 1v1 player to ever play the game. Not a good start. Fairy Peak sneaks in a kickoff goal. Whopper, I don't think expected the shot actually. You see he's going towards the ball there, looking for a ball chase. That, to me, tells me that he was expecting Fairy Peak to go for the boost. So that, that, that did not occur, of course. Fairy Peak's just going to shoot early. He's going to do it again, and Whopper's missed his boost to the corner. It's 2-0 Fairy in the first 10 seconds. And that's not a bad start. He's gone to the same side both times, but Fairy Peak playing very, very safe so far. Just taking early shots, playing the ball, not greeting boost. I'm talking about the first goal, of course. The Whopper's going to have to settle down a little bit. He's just going to try and focus on uh, kickoffs, of course. That's a good shot. Whopper going to get one goal back already with his first attack of the series. Very nice volley across the box. Fairy Peak was covering most of the goal there, but not the far corner. Now, Lozicon, thanks to the Tier 1 sub. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good one. And there's a good kickoff win for Whopper. That might be directly on target. It's just wide. Shame for Whopper. He could have got the tie game there. He's going to have to leave the ball for Fairy to shoot for his third goal. It did bounce a little bit too far off the wall. He just wasn't feeling comfortable. He went for the boost at the side of the field, not expecting Fairy Peak to get that good of a shot. <laughs> How are you doing, Atmospheres? Cheers to the six month tier one. I appreciate that. Um, what green screen do I use? I actually have had the same green screen since I started streaming um, when I first got a, a green screen. It was just the cheapest one that I could find on Amazon. I think it costs like five pounds. Uh, but <laughs> then uh, I just bought some, uh, what do you call it? Like stands and clips to hang it on. So that's, where, that's what we've got right now. But yeah, it's just the cheapest green cloth I could find. It's nothing nothing special, I'm afraid. So pretty good trick, Elite. How about you? Doing pretty good. Whopper just conceding his third kickoff goal of the match there. He's... Uh, not having a great time on face-offs against Fairy Peak, who's going to put in a fourth kickoff goal. <laughs> oh my goodness, for Whopper, he just can't get Fairy Peak's kickoff sorted out. It's about time for a fake, I think. Merpickle likes the five dollar, uh, five pound rather donation to the prize pool. You say, well, there we have it. The prize pool donations have begun. If you guys want to donate to the prize pool for the show matches, just use the donate button underneath my stream. Uh, if you want to donate to me, then don't use the donate button. Use uh, the cheering function in Twitch chat. Fairy Peak shadowing near post. Whopper just going to go straight at him. And that is not going to work against Fairy. I think a little bit more of a mix-up in terms of offensive um, alignment would help out Whopper a lot. I would have loved to see him cross over the field there. That was just to too simple with the for Fairy. On some, my ping is all right. On others, it's uh -huh. 140. Alright, come on, Whopper. You gotta kick off goal here. Right? Uh, Attila the Immigrant, no, I'm actually really not sure what your problem could be there um, with your server ping. I have no clue. You might want to just tweet at Psionic Support and see if they can help you out. But yeah, it could be to do with your internet. I'm not sure if um, Psionic servers are to blame for that one. That sounds a little bit too strange to be the servers. Fairy Peaks has missed an open net. Hold on a second. Is this... I think it is. Yes, surely Whopper getting his third goal. And you know, there's so much time left in this first game that he's got a decent chance of getting a comeback here. Most of the goals have been kickoff goals for Fairy. So if Whopper can just stop those from happening, the last few kickoffs have gone much better for him. And you never know. Maybe he can start chaining together a few goals and making an interesting ending here. Whopper on the run from Fairy. Tries to turn and take a quick shot. Gets blocked, but he might have another... Opening here. He's got no ball cam for the blind shot. 
And he doesn't make contact. That's not a good follow-up as well. He's just giving the ball straight to Fairy. Now, finally, the play starts to come in, but he's gone for the boost at the side of the field. And it's all gone wrong for Whopper. That's a lot of misplays back to back to back. And, uh, you know, thoughts of a comeback will be very much at the back of his mind after that one. Uh, one Lego thanks to the Prime sub. Also, Quigon, or Quigon Gin Tonic. <laughs> I see what you did there. Thank you for the Prime sub as well. Much appreciated. I, I almost beat that name. I'm glad I figured it out eventually because that is a really good name. Quigon Gin and Tonic. I like it. Right, four goals in it. A long time left in the game. Fairy Peak with the rush challenge. Gets the job done. Whopper needs to try and get a bit better control of the ball here. He needs to keep it close to himself, but also have options. He's walked straight into Fairy with ball carries twice this game, and neither of those chances have gone well for him. Once a flick getting easily saved and then scored in the counter-attack by Fairy, and now the ball carry just gets rush challenged, and he also concedes the same way. Fairy Peak is not going to ball carry. He's looking for ground shots. He's turned into a pass to Whopper, actually. There's the demo for Fairy. To keep Whopper from scoring on the counter attack. And I mean, at this point, it does very much look like Fairy Peak is going to get the win here. Look at that delayed touch <laughs> from the Frenchman. It's a shot that he showed us in the Madfield Night 5 game versus Scrub Killer, not once, but twice. Catching it at the end of the flick. And this might be the one thing that Fairy Peak does, which is, you know, both fancy and more common than uh, anyone else. I've not seen anybody else do this such, with such consistency as Fairy Peak. He bangs in a ground shot for good measure. 11-4. And Fairy Peak is putting up an absolute clinic against the current rank 7 player worldwide. Actually rank 6 because I count this uh, in rank 2 at the time of the recording this. Is not legitimate. That is a win traded again. Wait, I'm still paying sub money. Yes, Brian. I thought this was Rizzo's stream. He thought this was Rizzo's stream. Easy mistake to make, you know. Easy mistake to make. It's uh, both incredibly high quality content, so very easy to mix up. Fairy Peak almost getting a thirteenth goal there tier with more than a minute left. This fairy sweep. Um, we might do some tier three reviews after this. Well, actually, not immediately. After this, we're going to do um, another Wasoy review, probably one of the G2 series, because a lot of people are asking for that. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll do th some tier three reviews after the Wasoy review. We'll we'll see what's uh, what's happening then. Should be feeling pretty good still. Eight goals in it. It's just Whopper trying to. Uh, at this point, I think he should just cut his losses. Try to or accepts his losses, rather. Try to stop Fairy Peak from making this even more one-sided. It's a nine-goal game, over a minute left. Whopper getting into the territory of the worst loss ever on stream. It all started off with kickoff goals, but it was uh, the consistency like uh, difference that made this so one-sided. Whopper not able to get his uh, offense working, at least not anywhere near as consistently as Fairy did. That's a good bump, and he will get a chance for a long shot. Just doesn't get enough power or accuracy on it, though, does he? This is worrying for Whopper. If he can't start to either hit the ball harder when he's shooting, or make it more difficult for Fairy Peak to challenge him when he's dribbling, at least one of those things has to get better, or he's just not going to win any games this series. You can't beat Fairy unless you're shooting or dribbling well, preferably both. Fairy does make it a 10 goal game. 14 goals. That is pretty outrageous for Fairy. Mr. Penguin1997, thanks to the five month tier one. We've also got maybe you should donate to me with the five month prime. I agree. Um, Smithlar1295 with the 17 month tier one. Welcome back. It's here on a 50 bits from Mini Heels. How are you doing today, mate? No I 15th goal for Fairy. I'm a classic underdog fan, however, I expect Fairy to win. You hope for Whopper. Love to close the gap more when Fairy dribbles. You have to close the gap more when Fairy dribbles. Uh, that's, yeah, easier said than done. We'll have to wait and see how he's going to go about that. Whopper. Five months you've been back. Ideally, I think what Whopper's going to start off with is just more of a unpredictable kickoff. 
He, he seems to be doing better in the kickoff department towards the end of this game. I'm really worried. When I saw him losing to the same side on two kickoffs, two kickoffs in a row at the start of game one, I thought, uh-oh. I think he's autopilot in kickoffs. He can't do that against Fairy. This is much better now. He's starting to get some kickoff wins. Let's see if he can build upon this. Actually create a realistic chance. Nice ball control by Whopper. Bounce dribble to start things off. He's just going to side flip flick it to the far side of the goal. Now fast turnaround. Whopper has to recover though because Fairy is looking for an early shot. This time he spies it and gets the clear. A better start for Whopper. But is he going to keep this up? Is he going to be able to match Fairy in the midfield back and forth? It's so difficult to do. And Fairy Peak just like that squeaks out a goal. That, such a small margin of error here for Whopper, but a margin of error nonetheless. Fairy Peak just a little bit too quick on the recovery there. Puts one past him. Golden Tornado, thanks for gifting a sub to Dressy88. Welcome, Dressy88. Little Wolf TV with five months. Prime as well, welcome back. At least uh, the first two kickoffs of this game have made it seem a little bit more even in that regard, but still Whopper going down the line and you can see the problem he's facing with his angles. He just doesn't have any options. He's not giving himself uh, many angles to shoot with because he's going straight down the line every time. I would love to see Whopper crossing over the midfield trying to get Fairy on the wrong side of the ball for once. Will he be able to change up his offensive uh, line at all? Why are you guys all spamming Mike Muted? No, it isn't. Good try, though. A very nice bump by Fairy to get the second goal of the game. And Whopper's just chased him up the wall and got scored on a third time. As a result, everything's going wrong for Whopper. I mean, at this point, it might be a little bit of tilt because he's not even close to getting that boost, far less the ball. Kickoffs are still looking better than the first game, but what can Whopper do with the possession he's getting? He's just ran straight into Fairy I again. I was winning four to three when I first joined, and that Fairy was gonna lose. I was so wrong. You thought Whopper was uh, winning four three? Oh nah, nah. Afraid not. It was four thirteen. <laughs> four thirteen. You, you missed the one there. Um, yeah, Whopper just really needs to try and put Fairy in a bit more awkward spaces. Oh yeah, you've, you've, uh, I've forgotten to change the score. Thanks guys, that is actually a legitimate uh, help. Well done. Twitch chat coming in clutch. Make it 4-0 in this uh, second game though. It's all too easy for Fairy. But pay very close attention to Whopper's mid-series adaptation here. Can he dig himself out of the hole He's kind of half dug himself into, half been pushed into by Fairy. I mean, it's kind of one of those situations where Whopper was uh, maybe digging his own grave at times, but Fairy Peak was standing there with a gun to his head, making him do it. It was uh, a team effort. Pinch shot by Whopper, one of the less conventional ones. It goes way wide. Fairy looking behind him there to make sure Whopper's not rushing in close. Everything Fairy does right now just looks so comfortable. And he's finding ways to move forward. Closer and closer to Whopper's goal. With so many threatened shots. Threatening a hook shot there. Just turns it into a pass to himself. And blasts it into the net. Such confidence by Fairy. And we watched it from Whopper's POV the first time around. That was not easy to figure out what Fairy was planning there. It was a very disguised pass to himself. Making it look like a shot till the last second. But finally... Just over halftime, Whopper gets the first goal of the game. He's not out of it yet. That's what he needs to be reminding himself at this point. But once again, he's gone for the boost when he's nowhere near getting there first. Fairy Peak. Always going for early shots when Whopper looks like he might be tempted to go for a back corner boost. Is Fairy jumping off the wall here? No, he's covering fast. Whopper has an open net and he's missed it way left to the goal. It was a difficult open net, but Whopper wasn't even able to get close there. Now, he might have been forced into wrong-footing Fairy here. No, he's just going to go straight back into dribbling straight down the line at the Frenchman. And it just has to improve from here. There is no way that Whopper is going to get a win in this series by dribbling straight at Fairy Peak. Fairy Peak shadowing is just too good unless you're 
uh, flicks are literally the best in the world. I don't see you beating Fairy like this. You can't go straight at him and expect to win. He's managed to deflect every single shot that Whopper has made while coming straight at him after the first goal that Whopper scored this series. And that's all it took. You know, Whopper got one goal past Fairy, then Fairy uh, made the minor adjustment to his defensive positioning. And ever since then, it's been one way street. 7 1 Fairy in game two. This is outrageous. Um, and we've seen some really one sided wins for Fairy in the past, but to beat the guy who's, you know, next best in Europe in the current leaderboard standings by this much, it's such a Fairy Peak thing to do. He's got to be careful here, though. Whopper has him boost starved. And there is a very nice flick by Whopper. Actually, to correct the. Correct myself there. It looks like Fairy Peak wasn't boost starved. And he hesitated the challenge anyway. I'm very surprised to see Fairy Peak turning around there, not going for the challenge. Um, but actually faking it that close with 100 boosts. He probably could have reached the ball there, but he's given himself a pretty big um, cushion of goals to sit on. He shouldn't be too worried, I'm sure. Six goals in it, still. Uh, dot the dash dot that. Wait. Dot the dash dot. Dash, dash, dot. Thanks for the uh, three quid to the prize pool, by the way. That's much appreciated. Whopper donated another goal here to Fairy. Is Fairy going to take it? No, he's deciding to give it right back. Let's see if Whopper can transition quickly enough here. Fairy Peak missed the boost, but still turns aggressively. He might reach this, and he will. It gets over the top of the demo attempt for his ninth goal. And if this continues to go the way it's currently going, this could be the most one-sided series, at least in terms of um, aggregate score that we've ever seen going into the third game at least. Fairy Peak with a nice assist here. He tried to chip this one into the corner or uh, maybe straight up into the air. You know, after jumping when he did to get over the bump, he had to dodge exactly at that moment or at least close to that moment to even hit the ball. Do you think his matchup is a bit unfair? Well, Whopper asked to, uh, you know, Eddie, he said any matchup is good. Fairy Peak with a Wall shot into air dribble. There's a nice shot from Whopper. Tenth goal for Fairy. And a beautiful one at that. Very nicely done by Fairy Peak. Whopper actually watched the replay there. I forgot to uh, keep on watching it myself. You know, Whopper is uh, just trying to make a name for himself. And one of the best ways to do that is get a crack at the best player in the world. I'm sure he's going to be pretty glad to have an opportunity to play against Fairy in a series. He's, if nothing else, he's going to learn something from this. There's a lot to learn from playing the best of five against Fairy Peak in front of all of you guys. Whopper with the air dribble bump attempt. He lands on Fairy and puts it in. These guys have saved the best two goals of the series to last. Same Whopper from distance. Just sitting on Fairy at the end of this air dribble. Preventing Fairy from stopping the ball from crossing his own goal line. Could I beat either of them in a 1v1? Is that even a question? Whopper getting better. Uh or a better result this game, but still not even close to Fairy Peak's level. I'm going to reiterate what I said at the end of the first game though. If Whopper wants to start scoring more off his offensive plays, he needs to switch up his approach. He can't go straight down the middle at Fairy Peak. It's just not going to work the, ma the majority of the time, the vast majority of the time. Um, defensively, yeah. You're against Fairy Peak. Good luck in defense. Good luck. You're against a guy with incredible flicking ability for a long car. The ability to pull out montage plays if he if he needs it, which he usually doesn't. Ridiculous aerial speed. Ridiculous ground shot speed. You know, it's difficult to stop all of these avenues of attack for Fairy as he blasts the ball off his own upper right corner. Well, we're trying to get this off the wall, but the ball's actually done the opposite of what he wanted it to do there. Is Whopper going to avoid the demo? Fairy Peak doesn't even go for it, actually. Tries to challenge Whopper on the outside, who has gone a little bit too far to the right here, giving Fairy Peak the opportunity to move in close. That's a boost miss for Fairy, though, and he can't take the open net as a result. Whopper will get another chance. He's got no boost himself, and the flick has not worked out. You know, it was brave to go for that offensive play with no boost, but Whopper wasn't able to execute this time. There is a rush challenge. He snuck into the little pocket there behind the ball. 
Sinner's Fairy Peak was completely behind it. Fairy Peak again not going for a back corner demo. Maybe the one thing that he doesn't utilize in his game as much as he could. There's a landing demo though by Fairy. He will take them if he's presented with the free opportunity. Just like that, we have one. Oh my goodness, we can't. It's the hundred pound donation to Fairy Peak. <laughs> If Fairy Peak can get the win here, we're up to $108, or 108 pounds for the prize build now. Thanks to Mechanis. Fairy Peak does look like he's set to take that into his pocket as usual. Cheers for all his subs right now, guys. Proza, CHB, Jashi, P, and Stressful, all brand new subs. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're having fantastic days. But what can Whopper do? Is he got, has he got anything left in his back pocket? I mean, you're going to have to pull out all the stops to get any saves on these flicks by Fairy. That one didn't go in, but you can see how difficult that is to read from Whopper's perspective. That's an unbelievably accurate um, delayed flick on or delayed hit onto the ball for Fairy. I'd love to see him doing more of these. This time he's going to mind game it down low. Whopper is not even close. And this all comes down to Fairy Peak's willingness to cross over into the middle of the box before shooting. He's threatening so many angles there. He's got so many potential shots he could be going for, and that forces the misplay from Whopper. He gets the wrong read. And then you look at Whopper's attack in comparison, very linear, very direct, kind of forces himself into one shot, like maybe a flick or uh, a near post shot usually. He's not give, keeping his options open anywhere near as much as Fairy is. I'll tell you what though, if he can get another couple of kickoff goals, that wouldn't harm his chances of making this into a real series. Two in a row for Whopper. It's a one goal game. By far the closest game that we've seen so far. Albeit, dominated in terms of midfield possession play by Ferry. Now Whopper's got a great chance to cross over into the left side of the field, get Ferry on the wrong side of the ball. And, you know, even though it wasn't the most difficult shot to save, you can see how much more awkward that was for Ferry to get a save this time. He couldn't save it and then counter-attack like he was doing with the majority of Whopper's attacks that happened earlier on this series. Oh, is there going to be a long shot for Fairy here? High touch on the first bounce, but Whopper's backed off already. Fairy Peak looking straight down the middle at Whopper and Whopper will hide behind the ball and disguise his challenge quite well in response. He's got to be so careful here. The wall shots for Fairy are something that he loves to sneak in from this sort of range. And if Whopper doesn't see one coming before it happens, it's likely to be a goal out of nowhere. Whopper with an early challenge. He catches a piece of Fairy, but Fairy gets most of the ball. Still though, should be a chance for Whopper to attack. Fairy Peak is applying pressure right up in Whopper's offensive corner here. Or defensive corner, I should say. And I'll tell you what, he's managed to get the ball off Whopper but for how long Whopper ball chases it down the line and he will get an equalizer we've got a real game three here Whopper manages to tie the game he's got two kickoff goals and a 50-50 on Fairy Peak's goal line doesn't matter how pretty the goals are though they all count Fairy Peak getting a kickoff goal of his own to stretch the lead back in front for himself one minute 28 on the clock can Whopper rally once again? This is the gotta be the biggest test of his confidence that he's ever gonna face in his 1v1 career up until now. He's ever had to face, I should say. So you're going up against Fairy Peak, you're 2-0 down, and he's just scored a kickoff goal to take the lead in the third game. That is not an easy position to be in. He's just left Fairy Peak to hit this ball, hoping Fairy Peak's gonna miss. He should know better than that though. Fairy Peak doesn't miss these. Way too accurate, way too precise. And there is the second goal in front for Fairy. Uh, do I think Fairy could improve gameplay by switching to a Dominus or Octane, something with a slightly bigger front? I don't think so. I think the Batmobile suits him really well. It didn't initially, but he figured it out after um, a while and started to really dominate. I don't think anyone's really dominated Rocket League in any game mode as much as Fairy has in 1v1 show matches. I mean, the stuff that he does to the best players in the world 
can be just outrageous at times. He's up by three in the third game. It looks like this one might be all over. Can Whopper do anything about this? Could use another couple kickoff goals right about now. He wouldn't be disappointed to see that. It just doesn't seem to be any chinks in Fairy Peak's armor today. He's had a couple of um, goals that, he, that he's conceded from midfield play, but I would say between all three games that have just happened on, on the, this series, I don't think Whopper scored enough goals outside of kickoff goals I'm talking about to win even one game against Fairy today. Not with Fairy Peak scoring, you know, six goals, ten goals, fourteen goals. And this should be the last chance for Whopper. If he doesn't score right now, it's all going to be over. And he'll have to go back to the drawing board. Mainly off offensively, I would say. You know, defensively, he looked like he was getting better and better as the series progressed. But in offense, still a lot of work to be done if he wants to be able to match a player like Fairy when Fairy's playing so when does this the well. Start? Oh, well, <laughs> when does the show match start? Good question. That is GG's Fairy Peak. Looking outrageously good. And he will take this on 3-0 over Whopper. He'll uh, hopefully be back again in the future with um, more practice. Yeah, for now, Fairy Peak back to winning ways. I'm really worried. When I saw him losing to the same side on two kickoffs, two kickoffs in a row in the start of game one, I thought, uh-oh. I think he's autopilot in kickoffs. You can't do that against Fairy. This is much better now. He's starting to get some kickoff wins. Let's see if he can build upon this. Actually create a realistic chance. Nice ball control by Whopper. Bounce dribble to start things off. He's just going to side flip flick it to the far side of the goal. Now fast turnaround. Whopper has to recover though because Fairy is looking for an early shot. This time he spies it and gets the clear. A better start for Whopper. But is he going to keep this up? Is he going to be able to match Fairy in the midfield back and forth? It's so difficult to do. And Fairy Peak, just like that, squeaks out a goal that such a small margin of error here for Whopper, but a margin of error nonetheless. Fairy Peak just a little bit too quick on the recovery there. Puts one past him. Golden Tornado, thanks for gifting a sub to Dressy88. Welcome, Dressy88. Little Wolf TV with five months. Prime as well. Welcome back. At least uh, the first two kickoffs of this game have made it seem a little bit more even in that regard. But still, Whopper going down the line, and you can see the problem he's facing with his angles. He just doesn't have any options. He's not giving himself uh, many angles to shoot with because he's going straight down the line every time. I would love to see Whopper crossing over the midfield. And trying to get Fairy on the wrong side of the ball for once. Will he be able to change up his offensive uh, line at all? Why are you guys all spamming Mike Muted? No, it isn't. Good try, though. A very nice bump by Fairy to get the second goal of the game. And Whopper's just chased him up the wall and got scored on a third time. As a result, everything's going wrong for Whopper. I mean, at this point... It might be a little bit of tilt because he's not even close to getting that boost. Far less the ball. Kickoffs are still looking better than the first game. But what can Whopper do with the possession he's getting? He's just ran straight into Fairy I again. I was winning four to three when I first joined, and that Fairy was gonna lose. I was so wrong. You thought Whopper was uh, winning four three? Oh no, nah, no. Nah. Afraid not. It was four thirteen. <laughs> For 13, you, you missed the one there. Um, yeah, Whopper just really needs to try and put Fairy in a bit more awkward spaces. Oh yeah, you've, you've uh, I've forgotten to change the score. Thanks guys, that is actually a legitimate uh, help. Well done, Twitch chat coming in clutch. Make it 4-0 in this uh, second game though. It's all too easy for Fairy. But pay very close attention to Whopper's mid-series adaptation here. Can he dig himself out of the hole that he's kind of half dug himself into, half been pushed into by Fairy? I mean, it's kind of one of those situations where Whopper was uh, maybe digging his own grave at times, but Fairy Peak was standing there with a gun to his head, making him do it. It was uh, a team effort. Pinch shot by Whopper, one of the less conventional ones. It goes way wide. Fairy looking behind him there to make sure Whopper's not rushing in close. 
Everything Fairy does right now just looks so comfortable. And he's finding ways to move forward. Closer and closer to Whopper's goal. With so many threatened shots. Threatening a hook shot there just turns it into a pass to himself. And blasts it into the net. Such confidence by Fairy. And we watched it from Whopper's POV the first time around. That was not easy to figure out what Fairy was planning there. It was a very disguised pass to himself, making it look like a shot till the last second. But finally, just over halftime, Whopper gets the first goal of the game. He's not out of it yet. That's what he needs to be reminding himself at this point. But once again, he's gone for the boost when he's nowhere near getting there first. Fairy Peak. Always going for early shots when Whopper looks like he might be tempted to go for a back corner boost. Is Fairy jumping off the wall here? No, he's covering fast. Whopper has an open net and he's missed it way left of the goal. It was a difficult open net, but Whopper wasn't even able to get close there. Now he might have been forced into wrong footing Fairy here. No, he's just going to go straight back into dribbling straight down the line at the Frenchman. And it just has to improve from here. There is no way that Whopper is going to get a win in this series by dribbling straight at Fairy Peak. Fairy Peak shadowing is just too good unless your uh, flicks are literally the best in the world. I don't see you beating Fairy like this. You can't go straight at him and expect to win. He's managed to deflect every single shot that Whopper has made while coming straight at him after the first goal that Whopper scored this series. And that's all it took. You know, Whopper got one goal past Fairy. Then Fairy uh, made the minor adjustment to his defensive positioning. And ever since then, it's been one-way street. 7-1 Fairy in game two. This is outrageous. Um, and we've seen some really one-sided wins for Fairy in the past. But to beat the guy who's, you know, next best in Europe in the current leaderboard standings by this much, it's such a Fairy Peak thing to do. It's got... To be careful here though, Whopper has him boost starved. And there is a very nice flick by Whopper. Actually, to correct the correct myself there, it looks like Fairy Peak wasn't boost starved. And he hesitated the challenge anyway. I'm very surprised to see Fairy Peak turning around there, not going for the challenge. Um but actually faking it that close with a hundred boost. He probably could have reached the ball there, but he's given himself a pretty big um cushion of goals to sit on. That you shouldn't be too worried, I'm sure. Six goals in it, still. Uh, dot, da, dash, dot, da, wait. Dot, da, dash, dot, dash, dash, dot. Thanks for the uh, three quid to the prize pool, by the way. That's much appreciated. Whopper donate another goal here to Fairy. Is Fairy going to take it? No, he's deciding to give it right back. Let's see if Whopper can transition quickly enough here. Fairy Peak missed the boost, but still turns aggressively. He might reach this, and he will. He gets over the top of the demo attempt for his ninth goal. And if this continues to go the way it's currently going, this could be the most one-sided series, at least in terms of um, aggregate score, that we've ever seen, going into the third game at least. Fairy Peak with a nice assist here. He tried to chip this one into the corner, or uh, maybe straight up into the air. You know, after jumping when he did to get over the bump, he had to dodge exactly at that moment, or at least close to that moment to even hit the ball. Do you think his matchup is a bit unfair? Well, Whopper has to, you know, Eddie, he said any matchup is good. Fairy Peak with a wall shot into air dribble. There's a nice shot from Whopper. Tenth goal for Fairy. And a beautiful one at that. Very nicely done by Fairy Peak. Whopper actually watched the replay there. I forgot to uh, keep on watching it myself. You know, Whopper is uh, just trying to make a name for himself. And one of the best ways to do that is get a crack at the best player in the world. I'm sure he's going to be pretty glad to have an opportunity to play against Fairy in a series. He's, if nothing else, he's going to learn something from this. There's a lot to learn from playing the best of five against Fairy Peak in front of all of you guys. Whopper with the air dribble bump attempt. He lands on Fairy and puts it in. These guys have saved the best two goals of the series till last. Sign Whopper from distance. Just sitting on Fairy at the end of this air dribble. Preventing Fairy from stopping the ball from crossing his own goal line. Could I be either of them in a 1v1? Is that even a question? Whopper getting better, uh, or a better result this game. But still, not even close to Fairy Peak's level. I'm going to reiterate what I said at the end of the first game, though. 
if Whopper wants to start scoring more off his offensive plays, he needs to switch up his approach. He can't go straight down the middle at Fairy Peak. It's just not going to work the, major the majority of the time, the vast majority of the time. Um, defensively, yeah, you're against Fairy Peak. Good luck in defense. Good luck. You're against a guy with incredible flicking ability for a long car. The ability to pull out montage plays if he, if he needs it, which he usually doesn't. Ridiculous aerial speed, ridiculous ground shot speed. You know, it's difficult to stop all of these avenues of attack for Fairy as he blasts the ball off his own upper right corner. Whopper well, trying to get this off the wall, but the ball's actually done the opposite of what he wanted it to do there. And is Whopper going to avoid the demo? Fairy Peak doesn't even go for it, actually. He tries to challenge Whopper on the outside, who has gone a little bit too far to the right here, giving Fairy Peak the opportunity to move in close. That's a boost miss for Fairy though, and he can't take the open net as a result. The Whopper will get another chance. He's got no boost himself, and the flick has not worked out. You know, it was brave to go for that offensive play with no boost, but the Whopper wasn't able to execute this time. Here is a rush challenge. He snuck into the little pocket there behind the ball. As soon as Fairy Peak was completely behind it. Fairy Peak again not going for a back corner demo. Maybe the one thing that he doesn't utilize in his game as much as he could. There's a landing demo though by Fairy. He will take them if he's presented with the free opportunity. Just like that, we have one nil. Oh my goodness, we can't. It's the 100 pound donation to Fairy Peak. <laughs> if Fairy Peak can get the win here, we're up to 108 dollars, or 108 pounds for the prize build now. Thanks to Vicanis. Fairy Peak does look like he's set to take that into his pocket as usual. Cheers for all the subs right now, guys. Proza, CHB, Jashi, P, and Stressful, all brand new subs. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're having fantastic days. What can Whopper do? Is he got... Has he got anything left in his back pocket? I mean, you're going to have to pull out all the stops to get any saves on these flicks by Fairy. That one didn't go in, but you can see how difficult that is to read from Whopper's perspective. That's an unbelievably accurate um, delayed flick on or delayed hit onto the ball for Fairy. I'd love to see him doing more of these. This time he's going to mind game it down low. Whopper is not even close. And this all comes down to Fairy Peak's willingness to cross over into the middle of the box before shooting. He's threatening so many angles there. He's got so many potential shots he could be going for, and that forces the misplay from Whopper. He gets the wrong read. And then you look at Whopper's attack in comparison, very linear, very direct, kind of forces himself into one shot, like maybe a flick or uh, a near post shot usually. He's not give, keeping his options open anywhere near as much as Fairy is. I'll tell you what though, if he can get another couple of kickoff goals, that wouldn't harm his chances of making this into a real series. Two in a row for Whopper. It's a one goal game. By far the closest game that we've seen so far. Albeit dominated in terms of midfield possession play by Fairy. Now Whopper's got a great chance to cross over onto the left side of the field, get Fairy on the wrong side of the ball. And you know, even though it wasn't the most difficult shot to save, you can see how much more awkward that was for Fairy to get a save this time. He couldn't save it and then counter-attack like he was doing with the majority of Whopper's attacks that happened earlier on this series. Now, is there going to be a long shot for Fairy here? High touch on the first bounce, but Whopper's backed off already. Fairy Peak looking straight down the middle at Whopper, and Whopper will hide behind the ball and disguise his challenge quite well. In response, he's got to be so careful here. The wall shots for Fairy are something that he loves to sneak in from this sort of range. And if Whopper doesn't see one coming before it happens, it's likely to be a goal out of nowhere. Whopper with an early challenge. He catches a piece of Fairy, but Fairy gets most of the ball. Still, though, it should be a chance for Whopper to attack. Fairy Peak is applying pressure right up in Whopper's offensive corner here. Or defensive corner, I should say. And I'll tell you what, he's managed to get the ball off Whopper, but for how long? Whopper ball chases it down the line. And he will get an equalizer. We've got 
A real game three here. Whopper manages to tie the game. He's got two kickoff goals and a 50-50 on Fairy Peak's goal line. Doesn't matter how pretty the goals are, though. They all count. Fairy Peak getting a kickoff goal of his own to stretch the lead back in front for himself. One minute 28 on the clock. Can Whopper rally once again? This is the got to be the biggest test of his confidence that he's ever going to face in his 1v1 career up until now. He's ever had to face, I should say. So you're going up against Fairy Peak. You're 2-0 down, and he's just scored a kickoff goal to take the lead in the third game. That is not an easy position to be in. He's just left Fairy Peak to hit this ball, hoping Fairy Peak's going to miss. He should know better than that, though. Fairy Peak doesn't miss these. Way too accurate, way too precise. And there is the second goal in front for Fairy. Uh, do I think Fairy could improve gameplay by switching to a Dominus or Octane, something with a slightly bigger front? I don't think so. I think the Batmobile suits him really well. It didn't initially, but he figured it out after um, a while and started to really dominate. I don't think anyone's really dominated Rocket League in any game mode as much as Fairy has in 1v1 show matches. I mean, the stuff that he does to the best players in the world can be just outrageous at times. He's up by three in the third game. It looks like this one might be all over. Can Whopper do anything about this? Could use another couple kickoff goals right about now. He wouldn't be disappointed to see that. It just doesn't seem to be any chinks in Fairy Peak's armor today. He's had a couple of um, goals that, he, that he's conceded from midfield play, but I would say between all three games that have just happened on, on the, this series, I don't think Whopper scored enough goals outside of kickoff goals I'm talking about to win even one game against Fairy today. Not with Fairy Peak scoring, you know, six goals, 10 goals, 14 goals. And this should be the last chance for Whopper. If he doesn't score right now, it's all going to be over. And he'll have to go back to the drawing board. Mainly off offensively, I would say. You know, defensively, he looked like he was getting better and better as the series progressed. But in offense, still a lot of work to be done if he wants to be able to match a player like Fairy when Fairy's playing so when does this the well. Show start? Oh, well, <laughs> when does the show match start? Good question. That is GG's Fairy Peak. Looking outrageously good. And he will take this on 3-0 over Whopper. He'll uh, hopefully be back again in the future with um, more practice. Yeah, for now, Fairy Peak back to winning ways.